Honorable President and General Secretary A.I. Fukto and respected delegates. We have been discussing the merits and demerits of the National Education Policy 2020 for quite some time now, I guess. To be more precise, we have been discussing these issues sporadically since 2016 and more specifically since 2020. But I think time has come, especially after the UGC has started implementing the recommendations of the NEP 2020 phase-wise. As my previous speakers were saying that only yesterday the state government in West Bengal has issued a notification stating clearly that some of the very important recommendations, major recommendations of the NEP 2020 are going to be implemented from this academic session itself. So I think time has come that the mode of our discussion should change. I think our discussions should be oriented towards how to negotiate the threats that are being posed by the implementation of the recommendations of the NEP and how to counter these threats academically involving both the teachers and the students. Because students are going to be the more sufferers of this new education policy. So, what threats are coming their way needs to be clearly discussed with the students' community. And 24, 2024 is coming. So, for now, I mean, where we stand at the moment, I think. We have to tolerate this policy at least for one more year. So when we have to suffer this policy for one more year, then we have to prepare ourselves to negotiate with it, counter it, academic. How to do that should be the focus of our discussion henceforth. And regarding the alternative policy, I would say that a cursory glance, because we didn't have enough time to go through all the lines, a cursory glance at the document gives an indication that this is not an alternative document but a rejoinder to the existing one. The NEP 2020 has been referred to, mentioned millions of times in the document. Our objective should be to frame an alternative policy which will be democratic and academic in the true sense of the term. For that, academicians who are renowned across the country, academicians like Prabhat Patnaik, Irfan Habib, must be consulted while finalizing this document. I know, you know, the teachers who were assigned with the formation of this new policy are responsible enough, they have enough academic acumen to frame an alternative policy, but still they have only a fortnight's time to frame this document. And the document that we are countering through this alternative one was prepared over five years. So how can we even think of countering a document that was prepared over five years or maybe over 50 years in 15 days? So my proposal would be to save this alternative document to all the affiliates and give them at least one month's time for recommendations, modifications, rectifications and then finally, you know, frame this 
document and place it to the government places, the official places wherever it needs to be placed. And the governor's statement, if you look at the souvenir, you know, distributed yesterday, read the governor's, you know, statement. He clearly says that the NEP 2020 needs to be implemented immediately. And we have published it in our souvenir. Yeah, it's our organizational compulsion, but this conference must contain this statement of the Honorable Governor. For this statement, this is another point that, you know, took my eye for. Thank you very much.